yesterday the power of the doctor aired in the uk so let's talk about it this is the final episode from jodie whittaker as the 13th doctor so this is incredibly exciting one for her era and two for the future of doctor who so let's get into it i've got some notes here and let's look at it okay the master Sasha Duan as the master in this episode was absolutely iconic when he played the Ra Ra Rasputin. Incredible. He was incredibly camp in this episode and he was really, really good in this episode. Then I'm going to talk about Jodie Whittaker. I thought her performance in this episode was amazing. She was in it less than I thought she would be, but there was a lot to deal with in this episode and I really liked the bit she was in and I liked the um, holograms. I thought Manic Girl's performance as Yaz He's probably her best performance in the entire show. I thought she was really, really good in this episode. And I I genuinely loved pretty much everything she was doing in this episode. I loved that she was flying the hardest. I loved her ending scene. I loved her exit. Talking of exits, Dan, I didn't like his exit. It just feels a bit rushed. It's kind of obvious that there was like schedule conflicts with like John Bishop because it wasn't originally like there was they were obviously planning on doing like a regeneration but they weren't necessarily planning on doing like a 90 minute one but you know overall tegan and ace were an absolutely lovely addition to this episode especially ace she was absolutely incredible i'm going to talk about the professor moment later but also tegan her resistance to the doctor which also made yaz a little bit worried during this episode i really really enjoyed and kate stewart i was extremely worried that she was going to be turned into a cyberman at the start of this episode thankfully that did not happen but i was scared for quite a while that she was genuinely going to be turned into a Cyberman because also Chibnall almost has the right to do that because he created or he didn't create her but he was in the power she was in the power of three which is a Chibnall episode as for the overall plot yes it was extremely messy but I'm not using that as a negative I loved all the plots so yes it didn't really make sense the paintings didn't really come into it that much but it was a lovely time Vinda didn't need to be there Belle and Coveney still went in it like I thought it would be but also it didn't matter because it was still a lovely episode and I do think this is the send off that Jodie Whittaker deserved and I do think it was the hype. Okay, um, we need to talk about how this episode is a celebration of classic Who. The 60th sounds like it's going to be a celebration of new Who. The past Doctors. We got the first Doctor played by David Bradley, then we got five, six, seven and eight. When I tell you I lost it when I saw Paul McGann on my screen, I absolutely I've I've had I had some friends around, so that's why I've only been out to film it now. But I absolutely lost my marbles when I saw Paul McGann. If you don't know, I really like the TV movie and I love um Night of the Doctor. I really love him and I really want him to do a mini series about, you know, just him and him being the eighth doctor. But we're not gonna talk about this. I think I just said nine. But he was it was so lovely to see them. Also they didn't um making their, their faces look younger. And I love the idea, I can't remember what it is. It is a thing in Classic Who, I think, which is the idea of where the Doctors go after their regeneration. And there is actually a scene with Shooty that kind of looks like it could be there. But I loved that concept. I think it is concept before, but I just loved how that was incorporated during the episode. And I really, really appreciated that. We need to talk about the scene with the companion support group. And we had lots of people there. There was Mel there. There was so many people there. Oh. Ian Chesterfield was, I'm not even, I watched um, The Unearthly Child for the first time this year. I just cannot get over the fact that he was in this episode. I like lost it. Kate was there. Bradley Walsh was there. When Bradley Walsh, oh, he's not called Bradley Walsh, when Graham and Ace met up, I did like that, obviously. You know, they had to do it for the plot. One of my friends pointed it out. And yeah, obviously there were some plot inconveniences, but you know what? I really did enjoy this episode. I think it is a great send off for Jodie and her era as a whole. I think this is, it's kind of, I felt like this episode was Chibnall's dream from when he was a kid and he's been able to make, I'm so happy to him that I, he's got to make this episode. And I, the scene at the end with Yaz and the doctor and not even that, he liked Yaz's last line when she was in the support group and everybody was looking out for her. So sorry, I had to go and have dinner, but very quickly, I adored the regeneration. I thought, first of all, the visually, the effects were absolutely incredible. Like they were absolute second to none. David Tennant, David David Tennant. Um, he's my favorite actor. So I was obviously incredibly excited. He's also my favorite Doctor, and he's the fourteenth Doctor. I'm gonna make a theory video about this, but that is so cool. Also. I'm gonna make a reaction video about it tomorrow, but shooty, 
15. He's the 15th Doctor. And also, Shooty was in the next time around. Donna. But yeah. I'm like, I really enjoy this episode. It's not perfect by any means or any way, shape or form. I do think it's one of the best 13 era episodes though. And I did really enjoy it though. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in one soon. Bye.